हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू गेट शॉट ट्रिक सीरीज दिस इज विनय यादव बैक विद अनदर ट्रिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ट्रिक टू सॉल्व एनर्जी एंड पावर सिग्नल पेस ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो बिफोर वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम ओके सो द वेरी बेसिक रूल दैट यू शुड नो बिफोर यू स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग योर पावर एंड एनर्जी सिग्नल सम इज दैट योर सिग्नल कैन बी ईदर पावर और एनर्जी सिग्नल ओके और इट कैन बी नीदर एनर्जी नॉर पावर सिग्नल बट यस इट कैन नॉट बी पावर एंड एनर्जी सिग्नल एट द सेम टाइम ओके बट यस इट कैन बी नीदर एनर्जी नॉर पावर सिग्नल एट द सेम टाइम ओके so this was a basic rule let's move on to the first trick this trick is useful for the one marks question where you are just asked to find out whether this given signal is energy or power signal okay you are not required to put the exact value of energy and power signal you are just asked to find whether the signal is energy or power signal okay so for that your signal will be energy signal if and only if it is bounded by value and area okay your signal will be power signal if and only if it is bounded by value but it is unbounded by area okay and your signal will be not energy nor power signal if it is unbounded by value and area okay so now let us see what i mean by this okay so if you see this first example okay where you can see this signal is a ramp signal where the amplitude is keeps on increasing and your area is also not finite okay so basically what i mean is it is unbounded by value as well as it is unbounded by area okay so this signal will be neither energy nor power signal okay now let us see the second example so you can see this is a sinusoidal signal where the value is in between 1 and minus 1 okay so you can say it is bounded by value but if you see the area area keeps on increasing okay so that's why this signal is bounded by value but it is unbounded by area okay so this means that signal is unbounded by area but bounded by value so this is power signal okay and let me tell you one thing that every periodic signal every periodic signal is always a power signal okay you will see this thing while you solve the sum now let us see this third example so you can see this is an exponential signal where the signal is bounded between this area only okay so you can see this area is finite and the amplitude is also finite okay that means this is bounded by value as well as bounded by area okay so this signal is energy signal okay so this is energy signal power signal and this is neither energy nor power signal okay so this was the trick number 1 so till now we have seen how to guess whether the signal is energy or power signal okay but if in the question it is mentioned that you have to put the exact value of energy and power signal so what you will do okay so this is the exact procedure that you have to follow to get the exact value of power or energy signal okay in the question you will be given with x of t okay so the first step is you have to find out this this is integration of mod of x t the whole square over a period of minus t to t okay so this is the first step once you find out the answer of this then your energy will be simply if you put the limit t tends to infinity on this term okay so you will get energy signal similarly if you want to find out the power signal it will be limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t this is the extra term that you will find in power signal while in energy signal it is simply limit t tends to infinity okay so by this you will get energy signal by this you will get power signal but let me tell you this formula is only valid for real signal for complex signal this formula will change to xt multiply by xt ka conjugate okay so basically you will replace mod of xt the whole square to xt into xt conjugate when your signal is complex signal okay so this was for the continuous time signal let us see the steps for discrete time signal okay for discrete in question you will be given with xn the first step is that you will find out the summation of minus n to n basically summation over a complete period minus n to n mod of x of n the whole square okay this is the first step okay to find out the energy signal simply put limit n tends to infinity on this term okay and you will get the energy signal for power signal you will have extra term 1 upon 2n plus 1 okay in continuous it was 1 upon 2t but in discrete you have 2n plus 1 okay it is not only 2n why because if you see this example okay if you have summation of minus 1 to 1 you will have three steps basically 2 into 1 plus 1 okay if you see this minus 1 to 1 you have three steps okay so you can't write just 2 into 1 okay so it will be only two step right so you have to put extra 1 in this discrete term while in continuous term it is not present okay in continuous term it will be 1 upon 2t only while in discrete it will be 1 upon 2n plus 1 for this matter okay so this is the formula for power this is the formula for energy okay 
till now we know that our signal can be either energy either power or it can be neither energy nor power signal okay now let's move one step ahead okay and this trick number two states that only okay this trick number two is based on this formula energy is equals to pt okay if you remember my rms wala video what i have given you that exercise is equals to pt okay if you tends to forget this formula remember in this way exercise is equals to pt you will never forget this okay so the trick number two says that if your signal is energy signal okay if you know your signal is energy signal it means that your energy is finite so what will happen with the power signal okay whether it will be infinity or zero let us see that okay by this formula we know that p is equals to e by t okay and if you put limit t tends to infinity okay so what we will get energy is finite t tends to infinity so it will be finite by infinite okay so anything by infinite is always zero okay so we can say that if our signal is energy if our signal is energy then the power will always be zero okay similarly if your signal is power signal okay if you know that your signal is power signal that means your power is finite so let us see what will happen with the energy okay so e will be pt okay if we put limited and to infinity we will get finite multiply by infinite basically it will be infinite okay so our energy will be infinite always when the, our signal is power signal okay if our signal is power signal energy will be infinite if, if our signal is energy signal our power will be zero okay so this was all about trick number two so till now we know that trick number one trick number two and the basic steps to get the exact value of energy and power signal now let us implement all these tricks into this sums okay so the very first sum that we have is 2 e raised to minus 3 t u t and we are asked to find out whether the signal is energy or power signal and if it is energy what is the value if it is a power what is the value okay so if you just want to know whether our signal is energy or power signal what will you do you will try to draw the signal okay so 2 e raised to minus 3 u t it means that it will have only this right hand side wala part because of this ut and 2 e raised to minus 3t will be somewhat like this okay so our amplitude will be 2 so you can see this signal is bounded by area as well as amplitude so by trick number one we know our signal is energy signal okay in gate after doing this step you will directly jump to the option and you will cancel out all the option which is stating that signal is power okay now let us try to find out the exact value of energy signal okay so the very first step is that we will find out the mod of xt the whole square integration over a period of minus t to t okay so mod of x t the whole square will be 2 ka square is 4 e raised to minus 3 t ka square will be e raised to minus 6 t okay and because of this ut we will get our integration change to 0 to t okay 0 to t 4 e raised to minus 60 t t ka integration nikal na hai, okay so if we try to do the integration 4 we will keep outside okay so 4 integration of e raised to minus 60 ka ho ka e raised to minus 60 by minus 6 okay this minus 6 will come at downside okay this is the basic integration that you all know okay and you will have a limits of 0 to t okay so if you try to solve this it will be minus 4 by 6 e raised to minus 6 you will put this t and 0 so you will get minus 4 by 6 e raised to minus 6 t minus 1 okay so this was the first step now to get the exact value of energy we will put limit t tends to infinity on this step so it will be limit t tends to infinity minus t to t mod of xt the whole square dt it will be minus 4 by 6 we will put limit t tends to infinity okay so it will be e raised to minus infinity which is basically 0 minus 1 then we will get minus 4 by 6 minus 1 it will be 4 by 6 okay which is basically 2 by 3 okay so this is the exact value of energy okay and now if we try to find out the power of this signal as we all know that it is an energy signal so power will be what power will be zero right so let us see whether it comes out to be zero or not okay so if you try to find out the power okay what you will do you will put limit t tends to t infinity as well as 1 upon 2 t okay so it will be limit t tends to infinity 2 by 3 upon 2 t okay so this 2 2 will get cancelled if you put t tends to infinity it will be 1 upon infinity will be 0 okay so this power will comes out to be 0 and our concept is verified okay so you can see the energy we got is 2 by 3 okay? and also we know that this signal is a general exponential signal okay if you want to generalize the answer of this signal then it will be a square by 2b okay so basically the energy of this signal will be a square by 2b a is this b is this okay a square will be 4 by 2b b is 3 okay now let us see this 
सेकेंड क्वेश्चन थ्री साइन ओमेगा टी ओके सो इफ यू अप्लाई ट्रिक नंबर वन वी विल फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द सिग्नल ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर योर एम्पलीट्यूड इज बाउंडेड एम्पलीट्यूड इज बाउंडेड बिटवीन थ्री एंड माइनस थ्री बट योर एरिया इज नॉट बाउंडेड ओके सो इट इज बाउंडेड बाई एम्पलीट्यूड बट इट इज अनबाउंडेड बाई एरिया सो इट इज पावर सिग्नल ऑल्सो यू नो दिस सिग्नल इज पीरियोडिक सिग्नल सो इट विल बी ऑलवेज पावर सिग्नल ओके सो Now let us see the exact value. Okay, the very first step you will do is to find out this integration of mod of x t the whole square d t minus t two t. Okay, so it will be mod of x t ka square will be three ka square is nine. Mod of sine omega t ka square is sine square omega t. Okay, so if you try to find out the integration of this, it will be minus t two t nine comes outside. You can write this sine square omega t as one minus cos two omega t by two. Okay, now if you separate this term, you will get nine by two d t minus cos 2 omega t by 2 dt okay now if you try to put the integration here you will have minus t to t 9 by 2 dt and here you have minus t to t cos 2 omega t by 2 dt okay so this term look this term carefully okay here you have integration of cosine or sinusoidal signal over a complete period okay and we know that integration of sinusoidal signal or cosine signal over a complete period is always zero okay so this term will tends to zero and you will have only this term okay so if you apply the integration over here you will have 9 by 2 integration of 1 will be t so if you put this limit you will have t minus of minus t it will be 2t okay so you will have 9 by 2 multiply by 2t is 90 t okay so this is the answer of first step now let us try to find out the energy okay so the energy formula is just you have to put limit t tends to infinity so it will be limit t tends to infinity 90 okay so 9 multiplied by infinity is infinity okay now if you try to find out the powers power is simply limit t tends to infinity and extra term is this 1 by 2t okay so here it will be limit t tends to infinity 90 by 2t okay so this t t t gone cancel and you will have only this 9 by 2 and if you want to generalize the answer of this question it will be a square by 2 always okay any sinusoidal signal will have a square by 2 okay whether it is sinusoidal signal cosine signal or a ut signal okay so for a sin omega t a cos omega t a u of t the power of this signal will be a square by 2 always okay if you want to check you can verify all this by doing these things okay now let us move on to the next sum the next sum is we have 3 e raised to j omega t this is different from the exponential we have seen in the first sum okay here we have this j term okay so you can see this signal is complex signal okay so the very first step is to find out the integration of minus t to t x of t into x conjugate of t okay this is a complex signal that's why we don't have mod of x t the whole square we have x t multiplied by x conjugate of t okay in conjugate you just replace j by minus j okay simply okay so here you will have minus t to t 3 e raised to j omega t multiply by 3 e raised to minus j omega t okay now e raised to j omega t multiply by e raised to minus j omega t it will be e raised to j omega t minus j omega t okay so it will be e raised to 0 basically e raised to 0 is 1 okay so we will have only 9 here okay now if we try to find out the integration of 9 we will take this 9 outside integration of 1 will be t t minus of minus t it will be 9 into 2t okay so now if we try to find out the energy it will be limit t tends to infinity minus t to t x of t multiply by x conjugate of t it will be limit t tends to infinity 18t so if you put t tends to infinity it will be 18 multiplied by infinity is infinity okay similarly if we try to find out the power it we will put simply limit t tends to infinity also 1 upon 2t okay so we will have limit t tends to infinity 18t by 2t this t t t got cancel and we have 18 by 2 is 9 okay and if you want to generalize the answer of this question that if you have any complex exponential term that a e raised to j omega t kind of thing then you will have power as a square okay you can see this e raised to j omega t you can write in terms of sine omega t plus cos omega t okay and the resultant you will get periodic signal okay and any periodic signal is always a power signal okay that that's why you get power as finite and energy as infinite okay so any sum with a e raised to j omega t or simply a magnitude signal will have power as a square okay now let us see the very good question of gate electrical 2018 where we will implement all this trick okay so the question is considered two continuous time signal with x1 of t is mod of t where your t is between minus 1 and 1 and it is 0 otherwise okay and x x2 of t is 1 minus mod of t from minus 1 to 1 and it is 0 otherwise okay and the question is this signal are sampled with the sampling period of t is equal to 0 0.25 second to obtain discrete time signal x1n and x2n so basically what it is saying is that uh, they have sampled this x1t and x2t 
with the sampling period of t is equal to 0 0.25 second and they get x1 and then x2n and the question is to find out which of this statement is true the option is e x of n is greater than e x2 of t n basically energy of x1 of n is greater than x2 of n or x2 n is having energy greater than x1 n or their energy are same or it is none of the above okay so to solve the sum what we are going to do is first we are going to draw this x1 of t then we will do the sampling and we will get x1 of n and then by using the simple formula that we have seen after the trick number one we will use that and we will find out the energy okay and we will do this comparison okay uh, so if you try to draw the graph of x1 of t it is mod of t from minus 1 to 1 okay so it will be 0 at 0 it will be 1 at minus 1 and also it will be 1 at 1 okay so you will get this signal okay and if you try to draw this x2 of t you will get this type of signal okay 1 minus mod of t basically at 0 you will have 1 and at uh, minus 1 and 1 you will have 0 0 okay so this is the signal you will get from this equation okay now if you try to do the sampling with 0.25 as your time period as your sampling time period you will get this signal okay this is your x1 of n and x2 of n okay basically you have done the sampling okay on 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 1 0 similarly minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.7 and minus 1 okay so you get this x1 of n and x2 of n and now if you try to write this x1 of n x2 of n we will get this 1 0 0.75 0 0.5 0 0.25 then 0 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.7 and 1 okay so this is what your x1 of n and x2 of n it will be 0 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 1 0 0.75 0 0.5 0 0.25 and okay now let us put the formula and try to find out the energy okay so e1 will be summation of n2 minus infinity to infinity mod of x of n the whole square okay so basically here the period is from minus 1 to 1 so this period will replace to n equals to minus 1 to 1 okay and we will just take the square of this term okay so it will be 1 ka square plus 0 0.75 ka square plus 0 0.5 ka square 0 0.25 ka square 0 ka square 0 0.25 ka square 0 0.5 ka square 0 0.75 ka square and 1 ka square okay uh, so if you do the sum you will get energy of x1 as 3.75 okay here i have written that 0 ka square plus 2 multiply by a 1 ka square 0 0.75 ka square 0 0.5 ka square 0 0.25 ka square why because you can see 0 comes out to be one time and all this term repeats for the two time okay so that's why i have written 1 multiplied by 0 square plus 2 multiplied by all this term okay you can simply uh, do the square and sum okay this will um, give you the same result okay so no need to worry of all this thing now let us find out the energy of signal 2 okay so it will be 0 ka square plus 0 0.25 ka square 0 0.5 ka square 0 0.75 ka square 1 ka square 0 0.75 ka square 0 0.5 ka square 0 0.25 ka square and 0 so it will comes out to be 2.75 okay so you can see that energy of signal 2 is less than energy of signal 1 okay and that too it is in the discrete okay you have sampled the continuous signal and you got this x1 of n and x2 of n okay so you can see that energy of x1 of n is greater than x2 of n okay so this is the answer and you if you try to compare with the option you will get this a option as the correct answer okay so this was all about of this sum okay now from my side i'm giving you a task that you have to figure out the energy of x1 of t and x2 of t and do the comparison okay so basically you are going to find out the energy of x1 of t okay you are not going to find out the energy of x1 of n you are going to find out the energy of x1 of t and x2 of t and you will write your answer in the comment that whether your your energy of x1 of t is greater than x2 of t or it is same or it is less than x2 of t okay so now let's summarize what we have learned till now okay so we have started with the trick number one that from the graph how to figure out whether your signal is energy or power signal then we have seen the various steps to get the exact values then we have seen the trick number two uh, and then we have seen some sums where we find out the exact value and we have generalized the answer of the questions also okay it is not recommended to by heart all the generalized answer but yes if you by heart that you will be at extra steps ahead okay and at the last we have seen the gate electrical 2018 best sum okay so that's it from my side thank you guys